Hi, my lovely people. Y'all, we got to check in with the thirst trap. Y'all, okay, let me just say this, okay? I have been, like, on a strike of watching Jasmine because nothing's going to come out but BS. And remember, I said I'm not going to watch until Chris get on here and tell his so-called side of the story. So I've been looking at it and listening, and I'm just going to say one thing, right? I'm so sick of hearing this. This is my new jazz, and I'm not bothered. But it seems like every video that she has made thus far, she says, I'm not bothered. I'm not going to argue on YouTube. I'm not going to go back and forth on any social media platform. And every time you say that, Jasmine, do you realize how bothered you sound? Well, you keep bringing up the same old subject about how people are hating on you and you're a good mother and all the all this, I'm not going to go back and forth. I'm too bossy. I'm too classy. That that really makes you look trashy and make you look bothered. Do you realize that? It makes you look thirsty as heck. It really makes you look like you need to take a big old drink of water and maybe regurgitate some of the things that are coming out of your mouth and think about it because, girl, you make absolutely no sense. You're truly, truly bothered. Now, one thing I have been doing is looking at the comments section and baby... <laughs> Some of these comments deserve a reaction on their own. Let's just start with this one. Jazz is the type of woman that does not care whether or not a man that she is with is involved in his children's lives as long as he's right by her side. Soon he'll be jumping to a new dummy. Okay, now, this is reaction worthy because I like these comments. First off, yes, Jazz is that type of woman. Jazz, to me, is the type of woman that she does not care if he takes care of his other children as long as he is there in her face i mean she has proven this right she brought in a homeless man and put him above her children so enough is enough and enough is said see it won't bother jasmine until chris runs off with the next person and he doesn't take care of legendary or show her any attention that's when she'll get on here and it'll start bothering her then another woman says you know, pretty much the problem is, girl, you keep messing with men who don't care for their children. And that's, you know, a pattern that they have. And then she says, yeah, girl, you winning. See, Jasmine wants to be this woman that makes everybody think that she's winning. She is the type that she does not. Let me tell you something. Everybody wants love, right? But Jasmine doesn't care about love. Jasmine cares about the fact that there's someone to get on camera and try and make people paint this picture i mean girl if your man was all that why he ain't took that christmas tree down yet why he ain't um taught his son how to eat with a spoon because see all you do is sit over there and feed him and then all he does is choke and gum up stuff i mean why is he not doing things that men do another thing there is no way in common damn hell that i'm going to date a man that don't take care of children do you realize it's a pattern you ain't his first baby mama you ain't his second baby mama you his third baby mama so honey it's going to happen to you next Okay, and you know, it's going to happen. It's bound to happen. Now, this comment I really liked. I'm not going to read it verbatim, but it's a woman that's saying that child support is for parents who do not do the right thing. It's something that's forced by the court, right? And it's saying that pretty much, Jasmine, your time will come. And that's my whole thing that I think that her subscribers miss out on is... Let me tell you, nobody puts somebody on child support that is taking care of their children, right? Nobody just says, okay, me and you going to break up and um, I know that you're just going to get on child support because you ain't going to do the right thing. This is something that as parents, you know, we have to go down and do if you feel that it's something not being done. Like I have said before, everybody has seen my business. I had a DNA test when my son was six months old and it wasn't because I didn't know who his daddy it was. It was because I wanted it done, but I never asked for child support. I expunged it because because once again, the man that I was with, he had children before Xavier. He took care of his children before Xavier. He actually had custody of two of his children and was raising them. So I never once and never have had to ever go get child support because I know when the money is there, it's going to be in my hand. That's what a lot of people don't realize these day and ages. Almost 90% of child support cases is because the father or the mother was not doing what they were supposed to do. So we had to put it in the court's hands. So Jasmine, if that's what kind of man that you want, that he got kids out here that he don't take care of, honey, you and Legendary better strap up because baby, he going to knock patches in your hair worse than what the edges are that's missing. And baby, old Patcheroni over there, he's really going to be looking sad because daddy, when he flies the coop and starts bouncing his balls in somebody else's court, honey, I bet you be running down there uh, trying to get some child support or trying to do something. Because like you said, when Philip was in prison, I didn't have to get child support because his family helps me. He had some money saved. So therefore, it wasn't that it wasn't in your mind that you would put uh, Philip on child support. You were just getting from his family. In this case, 
It don't look like Chris's family messes with him too much. Because, baby, if they was, he wouldn't have been on the street homeless. Let's get on to this next one. Uh-huh. Child, I'm going to keep making... <laughs> oh, no, y'all. Y'all, I'm sorry to chuckle, but this one made me laugh. Okay, child, why am I keep making comments? The nerve of you to say it's giving you need money. Uh-huh. Tell your bum ninja to pay child support. She wouldn't need help. Uh-huh. By the way, please don't think, uh, don't play the race card. He's a black, uh-huh, man, not taking care of his seat. Yes, this is something I'm happy somebody pointed out. They always want to throw up the race card to my year trying to paint a black man to be bad. He painted his own self to be bad, popping out kids that he couldn't take care of. But, baby, no, look, somebody said down there, that's why God snatched your edges. <laughs> baby. Is they snatching her edges? And this is the final one because it's funny to me. Okay, let's read this one. This lady says Chris is a bum, plain and simple. And then she goes to say he loves to quote the most high God. Yeah, he is a bum. Pretty much is what she's saying. I'm not going to read it verbatim. Y'all can't. But this is something I've always found funny about Chris. Every time he gets on here, he always tries to say, God knows. God's watching. God sees. God will know. God will do this and God will do that. Well, you and your thirst trap over there, y'all should know that uh, God is watching. So see, when the day comes, Chris, that you have to explain to your child why you were not in her life. And I'm going to tell you guys something. I'm a big, big believer in fathers being in their children's lives, especially when it's a father and a girl and uh, she needs to have a dad figure. It is something special. And just as bad as a lot of fathers are to their children, it does affect their um, girl children in life when it comes to making decisions on love and caring and things of that nature and see it's gonna come a day where he's gonna have to explain to her why he couldn't keep a roof over his head why he was a homeless bum he's gonna have to uh, make a reason or some kind of path to explain to why Jasmine was more important than her all the women that he chose above her to live off of and, and everything else he's gonna have to explain it that's where God is gonna be watching cuz Sonny God do, God said a man that does not work does not eat. He also didn't say that men should get out here and be bums. He said women should appropriate and men should take care of their family. I mean, don't quote the Bible unless you're going to quote it all the way. Because at the end of the day, he is watching. And Chris, you are a bum, plain and simple. Y'all, I really wanted to make this video because I love the comments that y'all give her. It's not as though Jasmine is reading them or, you know, going to take any kind of heed to him she just wants to have something to talk about so since she says she's not bothered i love to show that she is bothered and i can't wait to see what you guys say down in the comments below